Welcome builders, Andy is Yori here. In the last episode, we built a stonemason and a quarry and a logging camp, and we also built a farmhouse as well. Welcome back to CMP. It stands for Crusty Muppet, no, no, sorry, Creative Multiplayer. Welcome back to our small kingdom five by five building system. Let's start with a sawmill. <laughs> this brand new building obviously this is the logging house we did yesterday so the person who lives here gets all the logs and then they hand them over to this person who saws them up so have a look at this this little uh, design here by Shula very cool saw mill to saw off all the logs and what I'm kind of doing over here is um uh, can I get it out here please is piling up the sawn logs so we have the logs like this all the sawn dark oak logs piling up kind of in the shade here and um, I like how kind of cramped this place is. I love how this whole city is going to evolve slowly. You know, just build by build as if the whole community was doing things in the right order. You know, logging, sawing, mining, smelting. We're going to build a smelter's house later today. And maybe just some ordinary accommodation as well. So what else do we want in this place? I've got some food. Um, on the inside, look, I made this um, little section here. Um... Do you know what would be really useful is if those trapdoors were on the outside. Let's let's put them on the outside. It's going to give us a bit more space. There we go. That's going to give us a bit more space on the inside. Can I can I sneak in there? No, I can't. No. Very good. I've got um, beehives, as you notice on the outside. Beehives, actually a legitimate block. It looks like little kitchen counters. Pretty cool. I guess it's pretty horrible if the bees come in. So we've got some pizza. We've got some burgers, <laughs> um, and then maybe we've got a little um, table and chairs. We've got our upstairs for our sleeping arrangements as well. What else should we add to this place? Maybe a little chest or something. I don't do too much furnishing in my builds. You may have noticed this over the years. There we go. Uh, actually, maybe they could go right over there. That would look pretty cool uh, as well. It's just really a, a question of bringing your builds, kind of making your builds seem alive. I don't know what else to put in this place. Um, something like that. I don't know. I don't do interiors. You may have noticed. I just don't. I just don't. Um, look, they're, they're spinning some pots on a people. We could have a pottery, actually. We could have a pottery. I know there's some clay. There's some clay down in the in this pond here. So maybe we could have a person who gets the clay out, makes some pots, and maybe even has a kiln and makes some bricks eventually as well. Put some nice detail into the chimney there, and I put some little stacked up logs as if this person's got their own collection of logs for maybe their own fire as well. We can kind of roughen up the roof a little bit as well, maybe adding in some uh, sea pickles wherever they're going to grow as if they are looking like a bit of fungus on the roof. And you can actually add, add in a few extra slabs once to roughen up the roof make it look a bit more higgledy piggledy like that and you could even turn some of these and put a hole in the roof as well <laughs> so uh, I love the detail that is our sawmill let's move on to the next build Many times they taught me lows are what makes you feel so high no matter how far my mind would wander I'd always stay Here we 
are. Just the cutest little house you've ever seen. Let's add a little bit more detail into this chimney as well. I like to do that. There we go. A little bit of detail there. Um, what else can we do in this place? We've got a little place to fish. A little uh, fishing pier here. We love that kind of detail. We could put some old things like that. Maybe just, you know, that kind of junk that gathers under your porch. Who's got a porch? Who's got a porch with junk? Wish I had a porch. <laughs> I'm just jealous of people's porches now for no, for no reason. So we have some little uh, workshops here, little workbenches, little places where you could do a little bit of work. Uh, we've got, um, this isn't very good. We could do that and that. A much better little basement here. So it's a teeny tiny little basement linking up to our fireplace as well. So again, we can put a little, little workbench along there. Very, very simple indeed. A few bits of junk piled up as well. Maybe a little grindstone for sharpening your tools. Whoever lives here maybe just maybe works on the farm. Could be a farm worker, this person. Um, let's give them a nice, comfortable seat on the porch, maybe out of crimson. Little seat there, they can have a little chat, have a snack. And then on the inside, this place is a little bit cramped. Why? There's a sheep in my house. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I didn't know it was there, honestly, I didn't know the sheep was there. Nothing, nothing was happening <coughs> to the sheep. So. We've got a grindstone, maybe have some more chairs in front of the fireplace. We've got a bed. Uh, do we have a lamp in here? We don't really have a lamp, so I have a lamp. And then a chest would do. Hmm. I should work on some more interior details. <laughs> There's a chest. There's a chest. A little teeny tiny worker's house. I love this. Would you like to see a tutorial on this build? It's a very, very small, cute house as well. We're going to add a little bit of detail into the roof as well. I'm going to use some world edit, I think, for this. So slash repl air. And this lets me just paint and replace blocks kind of automatically. Like that. And just bring them down there like that. And then this one maybe you can stick out here and come down by the lamp. It'll look good. And we could do things like roughing up and making it look a bit older. And uh, one of the things I like to do is just add some coral. So there we go. We've got some dead fiery coral and it just looks like bracket fungus kind of sticking out of the wood doesn't it, it looks like you haven't really taken care of your property and you haven't got rid of the, this bracket fungus is just growing away something we could also also do to add a bit of character to this place would be add some mossy cobblestone because look half of this is kind of really connected up to this river here so you can imagine the damp leaking up here making this all kind of horrible and fusty and mossy as well what do you think pretty smart i love that little house it's so cute i love the, the 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 levels of it it just comes down here into the water i love that i love the uh the porch as well yeah i think i'll do a little tutorial on this house as well it's super cute really cool and the basement as well you've got a lot of space for storage haven't you i think it's actually pretty pretty cool as well what else can we have up here maybe something like that there we go we need probably some light in here as well light this place up all right so don't look at that because we're about to build that <laughs> Um, yeah, let's build it now. <clears throat> So there we go. This is, of course, our hunter's house. You probably didn't guess that as we were building it. Maybe you did. Maybe I put a giant big label. But yeah, let's say I put a big giant label into the edit. <coughs> Note to self. Future editor. Uh, but yeah, this is the hunter's house. Somewhere we need to come to hunt. Now, again, we're going to make this look pretty cool. I have got an amazing texture pack. If you look, I have got... Better leaves, better leaves version for 1.16 and it gives me, well, birch leaves in this biome are yellow, which I absolutely love. Isn't that really, really cool? So let's add some beautiful detail to the hunter's house. The hunter's house. 
so this person would hunt and i think maybe they would be a butcher as well maybe they'd be someone who would process the pigs and so on if you had pigs and cows and sheep it needed to be slaughtered apologies to all the vegans and vegetarians uh yeah in this place we also need to add in um i think another floor up here where we could have some sleeping arrangements as well so yeah the hunter's house it's got to be well decorated maybe we could have something like that no we can't have that let's have that and do, do, do getting this right i'm just going to make a little i don't like that as a staircase let's have hmm Having staircases at the side is awkward because we've got very low down roofs. We're actually going to have to have this. One, two, three. This is going to be my little ladder up to... Here. And we're going to put that on top. So you climb up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You get up to here. And then we're going to block off the sides so you don't fall off if you roll out of bed in the night. I'm just going to have a simple bedroom up here. Like this. So this... Uh, was designed by Shula, this um, upstairs arrangement. She's very, very good at furnishing, one of the patrons on my server. Uh, very, very good at furnishing indeed. So let's make space for two people to kind of sleep up here, uh, like that. Maybe three people could live here. Three people could be the hunting party. It could be a hunting family, maybe, that lives in this house. And we'll give them a little bit of storage at each bed. Something like that would do. And that's pretty good for up there. And then maybe we'll have some little shelves right here for your kind of all your storage arrangements. And something I do like to grab is beehives. Um, because they look like, hey, beehive yourself. Get into my inventory. There we go. They look like little kitchen counters, don't they? They look like little kitchen counters where you could do your work. And we could do something like that as well. So there's a little kitchen counter um what other details can we put in i've got maybe a little smithing table here we need to put some ladders into our chimney not a chimney our tower the top part of the tower is a bit of a folly it doesn't really lead to anything i mean you could put a bell up here you could put a lantern as well and this is going to lead right down into our basement which we'll get to in a minute and then through here, oh, I need to finish off my fireplace for sure. So do I have, yep, a hot bar for that. So I love to finish off my fireplaces just like that. And then we have that one like that, that one like that, that one like that. I also like to take away these ones and do a full block, upside down, upside down. And there we go. We've got ourselves a little fireplace. Maybe we could have a couple of chairs for furnishing as well. Maybe you guys are better at furnishing than me. You couldn't be much worse, that is for sure. So we've got a little couple of chairs there. And then what about if we have a little table? A little table like that that you could eat at? Would that look good? A little table, a little kind of bench seating table design. I kind of like that, actually. That's pretty cool. Maybe just change it maybe to something like that. That's not too shabby. There we go, a little bench to have your foods. And then, of course, you could add so much more detail to that. You could put a door here as well, maybe to keep out the drafts. So let's carry on furnishing this place. Now, this is going to be where you would prepare all your meats. So we'll have a nice big workbench going along there and a nice big workbench going along there. Very smart indeed. And in here is going to be where we smoke the meat as well. So let's add a bit of smoke. <laughs> And we're also going to add these as well. Do, do, do. Now, I have a tutorial for this hunter's house. If you want to build this hunter's house, I have a tutorial already on my channel if you would like to build it. And we're going to put these chains along here. But what you're getting in this video really is some of the, uh, the detailing, um, which I didn't do in the video. So there we go. So this nether quartz looks like big, uh, it sure is smoky in here. <laughs> looks like big chunks of meat hanging there, ready to get smoked and that preserves them. Oh yeah? And a little bit of smoke can escape out the window. That's what I'm pretending. There we go. So we've got that. We could also do this maybe and have that kind of hanging down as a little chain maybe. 
you could hang some stuff some things up on that chain or maybe have some tools kind of hanging up kind of just looks professional like that doesn't it maybe have this wrapped around like that um so we've got some really good plugin on my server my server provided by dedicated mc link to my server providers in the down below if you'd like your own minecraft server java or bedrock check out the link below use the code andy for 15 percent off um and you can get your own server and run it exactly the way you want to run your server and um i highly recommend you do that so we've got some 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 meat blocks here which will just pop down kind of like that so if you're processing and cutting up all the meat what other details could we have lots of blood on the floor of course oh this is getting gross this uh this build <laughs> um i don't eat much meat myself i'm kind of a uh, pescatarian i eat some fish really and maybe have steak about once a year what about you guys are you vegetarians or are you, are you meat eaters i'm um i really hardly ever eat meat these days it's just really fish and maybe steak on my birthday is uh for a bit of a treat um there we go i don't know what else to put in this place um i'm really struggling oh uh, cobweb <laughs> A cobweb up in the up in the corner, but this is this could be where you'd store all your uh, your meat processing gear, I guess. But there we go, token effort. I think it is time. We've got a hunter's house. I think it's time to go and look at other people's builds, other people's kingdoms as well, uh, around this place. Now we have connected, as you can see, across here all the way through. Let me show you that getting built. So here we are at the end of the path leading back to my kingdom in that direction we get Uki's swamp village which we saw in the last episode a very quick flyover again he's put on these magnificent kind of stunted tree turned into um what would you call it watchtowers as well beautiful hanging vines and kind of bushes there as well with chains just this place is amazing we'll probably revisit that most times we can also link over to here now i'm not too sure is this ed i think this is ed chin yoshi's place it looks like they've got a massive docks yeah this is ed's crane design as well so he's building kind of a massive trading port or dock area i guess as well and then over here we have uh dragon is building this pretty amazing place as well look at the ship coming in here Dragon Sky, what an amazing place. He's built this ship kind of from scratch as well. So beautiful place. Everyone's got their own little kingdom. If you want to be part of this uh, creative multiplayer, then become a YouTube channel member or better still, a Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. You can get rid of all this blue, this uh, white wool, if it's in your way. Just uh, if you've already built to the specifications, the size of your city, then uh, you just get rid of your white wool. But look, he's got a castle that's starting to get built, some little bridges and houses and so on as well. Now we also have over here, doo -doo -doo, somewhere over the water, we have another place that's being built. Let me see if we can reach, aha. So whose is this place again? I think we saw this very briefly in the last episode. It's again, another little five by five town that's being built. So I've stumbled across this kingdom and I don't know what to say. This tower, I think, is from one of my seven upgrade videos uh, where I paid someone on Fiverr to come up with a, a, a tower design, seven upgrades to a tower. They ended up building one that looks like another YouTuber. Um, so we've got some, <laughs> I mean, these things happen. We've got some balloons. We've got the five by five kind of uh, grid laid out as well. I think this is Alfarino's plot pretty sure this is Alfarino's plot right here and he's uh he's gonna make quite an extravagant kingdom we've even got a dragon here as well so we're looking forward to seeing how this one turns out for sure okay so this giant castle is one of the things that's cropped up in our kingdom i didn't really want completely finished set piece castles like this we'll have to make an exception for this one because it's so good this is by captain dreadspine i would prefer little five by five towns communities that get built up slowly over time and eventually have a castle or a monastery associated with them but it would be better to have less of these set piece builds and more small towns communities and cities that build up slowly 
using the 5 by 5 building system, starting off from logging and sawing and smelting and right up to more advanced um, skills like glass making and so on. But having said that, an amazing castle by Captain Dreadspine. Sorry if my frames per second have gone down. This build is insanely uh, complicated. As you can see, uh, it's got some stunning uh, gardens as well. So, uh, big congratulations and well done to Captain Dreadspine for for pulling off this quite uh, incredible build. We'll have a quick look uh, on the inside. As I say, as I say, my frames per second have gone right through the floor. I can't even walk quickly. Come on. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, the inside is just insanity itself. I mean, it's so huge. We can try and venture upstairs as well, but this does take <laughs> quite some time. Can I go up quickly? Okay, yeah, I had to edit that bit out there. That those stairs were going on forever. Let's uh, fly through here. Oof, where do we go? We'll just keep on going up and eventually start to find some pretty cool rooms in this place. We're going up and up and up and up. Wow, look at this place. Absolutely incredible castle. Wow, it reminds me of some of the castles we used to tour with uh, Corallus on his Inspiration series. And it looks like we can go up even further as well. And through here, we're onto this place. And I th isn't there, is this the top? Maybe this is the very top. I can't remember what's the very, very top. Oh, no, no. Oh, we can go further up. I think there's a throne room up here, if I remember. Some sort of throne room at the very, very top of this place. Certainly more acacia slabs than you can shake a stick at for this castle. Let's see if we can get right to the very top. There we go. Whew, we're up to a shield room, a throne room. Yeah, this is this is where I want to sit. This is, wow, look at that for a throne. Oh, yeah. Really cool. I don't think you can go up any further. I could be wrong. No, I don't think you can go up any further, but what a place. What a place for Captain Dreadspine. Thank you so much for building that. It's uh, spectacular, actually absolutely spectacular maybe we could have a village around it maybe that's what we could do you could maybe evolve your five by five village all the way around this place so that this was maybe served by the uh, the farms and the small villages outside it anyway uh let's go back to my place warp cmp we're going to do warps for everybody's uh town as well we're going to do warps for everybody's town so eventually um everyone's town will have a warp yeah i said that three times i don't know why sorry about that right guys we have a farm, we have a hunter's house, a small house, a fisher's, a sawmill, a logger, um, a stonemason, and a quarry. What should be the next builds we concentrate in our town? Thank you so much indeed for watching, and I'll see you maybe in about a week's time with another CMP episode. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao, on the blocks. Be with you.